Now it's possible that this Mashiach ben Yosef had been instrumental before this war in regathering the ten tribes of the northern kingdom of Israel. We know that in Jewish history, the ten northern tribes, after the rule of King Solomon, the Jewish nation split into two nations, the southern kingdom of Judah and the northern kingdom, it was called the kingdom of Israel, the ten northern tribes. And we know that they were exiled about 700 BCE by the Assyrians. And they're known as the Lost Tribes of Israel. We don't know where they are, who they are. But one of the themes of biblical prophecy, one of the themes that the Bible repeats numerous times when it speaks about what's going to be in the times of the Messiah, in this utopian age, one of the themes that is repeated over and over again is that the nation of the Jewish people will be reunited. The tribes of Judah, and the tribes of Israel, these 10 tribes will come back. It's quite possible that one of the things that Mashiach ben Yosef will be, as a descendant of Yosef, is that he will be a leader of these peoples that are emerging from the world and coming back and reclaiming their position amongst the Jewish people. You should know, by the way, we have many, many people in the world today that insist they are from the Ten Lost Tribes. Now, who is this leader from the family of Joseph that's leading them? We don't know who it is. There have been many suggestions. And just like in every generation, we're told, there has to be someone who could become the Davidic Messiah. So in every generation, there has to be someone that could be potentially the Messiah from the house of Joseph. There could be someone today that will become instrumental in bringing back these 10 tribes to the land of Israel. But we're told that after he achieves some success in helping bring back these tribes, there's going to be this terrible attack on the Jewish nation. Und es geschah zur Zeit des Ahas, des Sohnes Jotams, des Sohnes Usias, des Königs von Juda, da zog Rezin, der König von Aram, mit Pekach, dem Sohn Remalias, dem König von Israel, hinauf zum Krieg gegen Jerusalem. Er konnte es aber nicht erobern. Als nun dem Haus Davids berichtet wurde, der Aramäer hat sich in Ephraim niedergelassen, da bebte sein Herz und das Herz seines Volkes wie die Bäume des Waldes vor dem Wind beben. Der Herr aber sprach zu Jesaja, »Geh doch hinaus dem Ahas entgegen, du und dein Sohn Shear Jashub, an das Ende der Wasserleitung des oberen Teiches zur Straße des Walkerfeldes, und sprich zu ihm, »Hüte dich und sei ruhig, fürchte dich nicht, und dein Herz verzage nicht vor diesen zwei rauchenden Feuerbrandstummeln, vor der Zornglut Rezins und der Aramäer und des Sohnes Remalias.« weil der Aramäer Böses gegen dich geplant hat, samt Ephraim und dem Sohn Remalias, die sagen, wir wollen nach Juda hinaufziehen und es in Schrecken versetzen und es für uns erobern und dort den Sohn Tabeels zum König einsetzen. Deshalb spricht Gott der Herr, es soll nicht zustande kommen und nicht geschehen. Denn Damaskus ist das Haupt von Aram und Rezin ist das Haupt von Damaskus und binnen 65 Jahren wird Ephraim zertrümmert sein, so dass es kein Volk mehr ist. Und das Haupt Ephraims ist Samaria, und das Haupt Samarias ist der Sohn Remalias. Wenn ihr nicht glaubt, so werdet ihr gewiss keinen Bestand haben. The Talmudic sources tell us that this Messiah from the house of Joseph will function for 45 years. His involvement in the world stage will last for 45 years, according to most sources, and then he will be serving as the paver of the way for the Davidic Messiah, for the ultimate Messiah King, Mashiach ben David. The Talmudic sources tell us that this Messiah from the house of Joseph will function for 45 years. 
His involvement in the world stage will last for 45 years, according to most sources. And then he will be serving as the paver of the way for the Davidic Messiah, for the ultimate Messiah King. Mashiach ben David. Rabbi Allah ben Azariah says that Yemaisa Mashiach will be comprised of Shivim Shan, will be a 70 year period. Shinamar as it says, and we're quoting a Pasuk in Yeshaya, that Vahoya ba Yemahu, that it will be in that day, Vinishkachas Tsoir Shivim Shana, that Tsoir, the city of Tsoir, will be forgotten for 70 years, Kiyemei Melech Echad, which are the days of the king. And who does this king refer to? Ezeu Melech Miyuchad, who is the unique king? Havo Emir Zamoshiach. And we are calling Mashiach's, so to say, kingship a period of 70 years. Araya 70. Who is the unique king? Havo Emir Zamoshiach. And we are calling Mashiach's, so to say, kingship a period of 70 years. Araya 70. And the days which Jeroboam reigned were two and twenty years. And he slept with his fathers, and Nadab his son reigned in his stead. In the fifteenth year of Amaziah, the son of Joash, king of Judah, Jeroboam, the son of Joash, king of Israel, began to reign in Samaria, and reigned forty and one years. And Jeroboam slept with his fathers, even with the kings of Israel. The end will come like a flood, bringing the war and destruction which God has prepared. That ruler will have a firm agreement with many people for seven years. And when half this time is passed, he will put an end to sacrifices and offerings. The awful horror will be placed on the highest point of the temple and will remain there until the one who put it there meets the end which God has prepared for him. Who is the unique king? Havo Emir Zamoshiach. And we are calling Mashiach's, so to say, kingship, a period of 70 years, Araya 70.